tropical rainforests have four different layers. We have the tallest trees, which are known as the emergence, and they're really tall because they're reaching up for the sunlight. That's why they're growing upwards. And at the bottom of the emergent trees, you have the very wide buttress roots to help them stay stable because they're so tall. Uh, at the bottom of the rainforest, we have the shrub layer or the forest floor. This is usually dark and humid because the sunlight can't penetrate the canopy layer. The canopy layer is like an umbrella that blocks out the sunlight, making sure that the forest floor is a little bit darker. The canopy is always green, it's an evergreen place because it always gets the sunlight. Some of the adaptations we find within a rain, tropical rainforest, we have these are the buttress roots, very large roots that help support the emergent trees, but also because the soil is really thin. Uh, the soil is thin because not many leaves are falling off the trees, so the nutrient cycle is disrupted. So there's lack of decaying leaf litter into the soil, which means there's not many nutrients. So the buttress roots collect water moisture from the air and any nutrients that are there too. Another adaptation of the drip tips, and this is where water and rain will go onto the leaf, and so that the leaf is not weighed down by the water, the drip tip allows water to run off the leaf nice and easily. Also with the rainforest we have various different types of plants, the biodiversity is very high. There are the lianas, which are the vine-like plants, and these often grow around tree trunks, feeding off the tree trunks. Here is a picture of the rainforest, always green, evergreen, always growing. Uh, because of the climate it is always wet, it is always warm, good conditions for plant growth. And this is why, because the rainforests are found at the equator, uh, because it is very close to the sun, so the sun's rays are quite concentrated, and they don't have to travel as far as they do to get to places further north or south. So it's very warm, and because it's very warm, the air rises up, and air rises, as it rises it cools, and as it cools it condenses to make clouds, which is why it rains at the equator. And because the air is rising, this is what we call a low pressure system. So there is a low pressure system at the equator, which means we have a lot of rain.